In this video, we will go over Math 154, homework 2B, homework number 16. Okay, number 16. The monthly rent on a 90 square meter apartment in Monte Carlo, Monaco is 1,200 euros. Okay, I'll go ahead and write this down. Um, 1,200 euros per 90 square meter. Okay, and the other apartment in New Mexico, the monthly rent on 200 square foot apartment in Santa, Santa Fe, New Mexico is $800. So that one, I'll write that in a different color pen, $800 per, um, how big was this apartment? 250 um, square foot. So what I wrote in purple, is the one in Europe, in Monaco, and this one is in the U.S. All right, so let me bring this down. So what we are doing here is we're trying to compare which one is a better deal, which one is cheaper, right? All right, um, hold on. Um, in terms of price per area, which apartment is less expensive? And we can't really tell that because these are all in different units, right? So what unit do we want to convert to? What does the answer want? So I'm going to go ahead and look at the unit in the answer. If you take a look, the unit in the answer should be dollar per square foot. Do you see that? Dollar per square foot. Dollar per square foot. So which means the one that I circled in red is ready to go. This is, this is definitely what? Hold on. This is dollar per square foot. So all I need to do for this apartment in New Mexico is really just to divide. So let me get my calculator. Okay, hold on, where's my calculator? So this one will be a, the easy one. I'll do 800 divided by 250. If I do that, I get $3 and 20 cents per one square foot. Okay, so it's going to be $3.20 for the apartment in New Mexico. So I'm going to go ahead and type that number in. But then the purple one that I circled, we're going to have to do some work on that, right? So $3.20. So the Santa Fe apartment cost $3.20 per square foot. I need to find out how much is this Monte Carlo apartment cost. Um in terms of dollars per square foot. So that's gonna be a lot of work. So let me first, well, do you see how they gave us two conversion charts? Um, the US metric conversion and, cause we have to convert the area and also Euro to US dollar. So let me go ahead and first do that. So it was 1200 euros, right? How much is that in US dollar? Okay, um, foreign per dollar. No, 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 dollar per foreign. So this is what we need to multiply by because what we have is the foreign amount. I need to find out how much dollar that is. So let's go ahead and multiply by dollars per foreign. So where is Euro? European Euro, right here. So 1.058. We're gonna have to multiply this um, by 1200, okay? Because we want to find out how many dollars that is per foreign. So over here, I'll go ahead and multiply 1,200 euros times, well, I don't, uh, one point, I'll just go ahead and do the numbers, okay? 1,200 times 1 1.058 is approximately, and we're going to get the dollar amount, right? So I need a calculator. 1200 times 1.058 that comes out to be 1269 $1,269.60 so I'm gonna say instead of euros I'll go ahead and change this to 12 dollar sign 1269.60 this is good this is good now what I need to do is convert this. We're done with this guy. I'm going to erase this. 
I need to now convert the area. I need to now convert this area of 90 square meters into square feet. Is that right? Okay, so close this. I need to convert it into metric, uh, metric to US unit. So if you see over here, um, where's the meters to square feet? Right here. Now I want you to take a look at something. What they gave us is, I can't highlight this, but I can write it down. What they gave us is one meter. One meter is equal to 3.28 feet. Now listen, we don't want meters and feet. We want square meters and square feet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to square this unit. And you're like, why do we have to do that? Look, the unit that we got is square meters and that unit that we want is square feet. So we're going to have to square this entire unit. Okay. So if you square the left side, one squared is one, meter squared is meter squared, right? Now for 3.28, I need to get on your calculator for this. I'm going to square 3.28. 3.28 squared is 10.7584. And if you square this unit feet, we're going to get square feet. Now what we got is nine i'm going to erase this okay because th this is the unit that we're going to now use what we got is one square meter is equal to 10.7584 square feet so if you have 90 square meters that's what we have right all we need to do is multiply this number by what 90. so i'm going to go ahead and multiply this number by 90 and that comes out to be 968 0.256 square feet. So what we are now going to do is instead of 990 square meters, I'll go ahead and put down 968.256 square feet right here. And all we now need to do is to do the division. We have to just divide the dollar amount by square feet. So I'll go ahead and do 1269. 0.60 divided by 968.256 and that comes out to be $1.31 per square feet. So that's definitely cheaper than the one in New Mexico, isn't it? $1.31. Wow, this problem was fun. $1.31 per square feet for per square foot. Therefore, the apartment in Monte Carlo is definitely less expensive because it's cheaper. I'm gonna click on check answer. And that's how you can do this problem. Um, finding the Santa Fe apartment cost was super easy. All you had to do was divide um, 800 by 250 to get this $3.20 per square foot. But because the Monte Carlo apartment um, it was in euros. We had to convert that into dollars first. And then because it was given in square meters, we had to convert that into square foot. So that's why the second part was a little more difficult to find. But I hope this was helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, post this video on Canvas for you guys so that you can use it on homework 2B, okay?